For people that have been once, they never forget. It's one of the very few sort of city centre race courses that really works. It's the best experience anyone can have. You can feel the atmosphere, it's really intense and it's intimate. Our location, the Roman walls, there just isn't another place like it. It's a spectacle. During Roman times, this was actually the port of Chester. The original wall of the city here, you can see part of that in the D stand. They're really fine, great big masonry blocks which show the location's history as part of the Roman harbour. In the village of Harden, there was a, a disaster when the wife of the governor was out praying in the churchyard and this huge timber cross collapsed on her and killed her. So the governor had this cross dispatched into the sea. It came to settle on this little eye in the sand. That is the Rud Eye, the island of the cross. 1533, there was an annual football match and there were so many injuries caused by this match that the mayor of Chester banned it. The local equine enthusiasts asked the Lord Mayor if they could start running a horse race, an annual horse race obviously considered to be much more genteel and safer than a football match. For hundreds of years people have been coming to this location to enjoy horse racing. There is a really nice balance when you come onto the site. There's still a feeling that you're there with all the people that have been here in the hundreds of years before. There's no doubt about it, this is a course where horses can learn a lot in one race. You'll see some very, very good horses here have run and, and won here and then go on to do great things. The most famous horse to win a derby trial uh, and then win the derby was Shergar. He was so smooth, so fluent, nothing got near him and it, to watch it as someone who loved horses was very, very special. Seeing Enable uh, win here at Chester has been a fantastic experience. To win the Oaks, the Irish Oaks, the Yorkshire Oaks, she's won two arcs. I mean, she is just a superstar and we are just so lucky that we got to see her on the Rudy. Brown Panther was the apple of my eye. He's the best horse by far I've ever owned. He was a Group 1 winner. We sent him to the Chester May Festival. I've got my name up on the board there at Chester with Brown Panther winning the Ormond. Owning a horse, the whole buzz that goes with it and having a runner at Chester, my home track, was the start really of, of a love affair that, that's, that lasts to this day. The first time I've ever raced at Chester was in what's called the Chester Cup and I knew nothing about it. My trainer introduced me to it and he said, you bought Bulwark and Bulwark would qualify for the Chester Cup. Towards the end of the race, I asked uh, somebody who won the race and he said, Bulwark, and from his batting step down. And so I thought, wow, it's my horse. That moment is what made me fall in love with racing. Chester is completely and utterly unique as a race course. You have people round the walls and you're looking down on the race course and it's just all there. As soon as you go through the gates, it just brings a whole new emphasis to it. It's electric. It feels different to any other track. It's a special type of atmosphere. You don't see many jockeys who wave the whip when they pass the line, but yet they do it at Chester because the vibe that they've got from the crowd and once they pass that line and they cheer, it gives you something else. Most of my owners say we want a runner and we want a winner at Chester. I only had two horses before we went to the uh, to Chester. By the time the three day finished, I had plans to have a hundred runners. They started calling me the crazy doctor. The races of such high quality, especially at the Chester May Festival. 
being the oldest race course in the world, it's a fantastic mantle to have. Normally with that title you wouldn't expect to you know, have innovation at the forefront, but for us I think we need to lead the field. We challenge ourselves to how can we be better than we were last season. They are always ahead of the game. They are always introducing things before they have to introduce them. They never sit still, they're always trying to improve, and they are certainly a leading light when it comes to all other tracks. We're developing all the time, and I think it will continue in that manner. Everybody there has a great time, regardless of your budget, regardless of where you are. We want to develop and we want to grow our link with the city and, and improve what we do. It's a completely different vibe than anywhere else. The proof is in the pudding, they win big race scores of the year virtually every year. I'm one of the lucky few where I experienced Dasco, Epsom, Dubai, Hong Kong, Melbourne. There's nothing more exciting than being at Chester during the races.